St. Louis, Missouri, and East St. Louis, Illinois, sister cities joined together by name but located on opposite sides of a river in two different states. While both share a beautiful view of the famous St. Louis Arch, they also share issues that occur with poverty and chemical industries. Buck Jones was the son of migrant workers. A United Church of Christ minister, he earned academic degrees from Michigan State University and Yale Divinity School. Reverend Jones spent more than 30 years working on both sides of the river, championing civil rights and addressing the root causes of environmental injustice and poverty. He worked for structural change in St. Louis and East St. Louis, creating an organization called Project Hope, Hope of People Emerging. He showed compassion for people. And I don't care who came to the office, he was always willing to help people that had asbestos in their homes and slum landlords and people that didn't have anything to eat and relatives was lost and, and you know, they couldn't find them. It's just so much that um, he did for other people. After graduating from Yale University, my husband decided that his calling was not to pastor church or to become a professor, which I thought he should have. But his calling was to preach to the laws and unbelievers and to empower people to help themselves. And I kept thinking, I say, are oh, you sure you're a real preacher? No, he just laughed. He said, yes. The city of East St. Louis and St. Louis is my church. The people are my members. We're here to serve notice that as a people, we're going to fight back. I can hear even in my sleep, you know, the cries of people, you know, cries of anguish, uh, people crying for help, uh, people crying for a chance to grow and to be. And as long as I'm in the world, you know, I suspect that I will continue to engage in this kind of ministry, which means that uh, even though I'm working with people in poverty, when I die, I probably will be in poverty because I see that as my call, you know, to really to get in there and to empower people to help themselves. My father was a minister and my brother is a minister, but I had no idea that I would be uh, marrying a minister, but I'm glad I did. Reverend Jones loved his family, although he was very busy, but he spent quality time with us, and we have three adult children. Reverend Jones was a fighter, I tell you. We'd get out and we'd protest. We were at receipt, we did at receipt work, and we'd go and protest even at the governor's office, which we did and St. Louis and East St. Louis. East St. Louis was our main project. And uh, it was just an experience that, that I have enjoyed all these years. Now he was led by the Holy Spirit. He was a humanistic person. He cared about the dignity and the worth of people. So many chemicals was dumped in East St. Louis and nobody really cared about what was dumped during that time in East St. Louis. And we were fighting to keep all those chemicals out because people were getting cancer. And uh, we fought for the um, citizens' rights. I have a responsibility, along with my staff, to get out in the streets, to organize and mobilize people around their felt needs. Not what I want to do, but what the people see as their basic needs and to assist those people in getting the resources to resolve those problems. And I think if they do that, then they can reach the goal that we have set, and that is the empowerment of people. Well, some of the uh, tenants came to him and said they were getting sick, and uh, we protested against that. We were all on the news, and uh, the people were getting sick, and they were closing the different apartments with his asbestos and they got it out. In 1981, Reverend Jones became aware of a new program to provide housing for the poor. He took Lucy Foster and three others to Americus, Georgia to learn more about it. We brought the program back with the uh, monies from the UCC church 
and uh, we started, um, we came back, we went in 82. And uh, it didn't take us long to get Habitat started with the residents, concerned residents of East St. Louis. And uh, we were the first Habitat in this area. With volunteer and resident help, poor people in St. Louis and East St. Louis were given a safe environment in which to live, thanks to the leadership of Buck Jones. Lucy pointed out some of the houses. These were some of his pet projects. He loved this area. Oh. And we built it up. All the weeds and trash and everything else was around in this area, but it looks good now. To build these houses was a joy. And um, Reverend Jones, we all got together and got the bill, and then we had about 3,000 or 4,000 youth from the uh, Lutheran Church. They had a convention at the Edward Jones Dome, and uh, they came and they helped build the uh, walls. And we have beautiful homes in East St. Louis. They're beautiful. We have given the, uh, some of the residents a safe environment in which to live. And I just thank God for his blessings because we owe it all to him. Dr. Jones was a, a beautiful person. He loved the residents in St. Louis and East St. Louis. Reverend Buck Jones, one of Earth's caretakers.